and welcome to Sarah with Many Thoughts. My name is Sarah and I have a really exciting haul for you today. And yes, I say that at the beginning of basically every video I do because thrift hauls are exciting, especially if you like thrifting like I do. If you guys are new here, like I said, my name is Sarah and I love thrifting. I love going into a store and not knowing what you're going to come out with. I love the thrill of finding a good deal and I love showing you my finds. So like I said, today is really exciting because I have two bags full of clothes that I bought for myself at Plato's Closet, Middletown, New Jersey over this year. And yes, I say I bought for myself because a lot of times I go thrifting with the intention to wear something once or twice and then resell it because I can't possibly keep everything I buy because I would need like a whole other house for that. So I often buy clothes, resell them, buy them, wear them, resell them. But regardless, this is all stuff that I did buy for my own personal closet. Almost everything I'm about to show you was $1. Like I said, I bought it throughout the year. Um, and Plato's Closet, Middletown, New Jersey often has $1 clearance sales where their clearance is more down to just $1, which is like a dream. And if you want to check out more videos like that, $1 hauls, there are plenty on my channel. With that being said, let's get right into it. Some of this stuff I actually have not looked at in months because that's, and that's the problem. All this stuff I have not worn yet. Isn't that so bad? Oh my gosh, but it's okay. I have next year and next summer I'm going to be the cutest thing ever with all my cute new thrifted clothes. So anyway, let's see what I got here. So if you know me, you know pink is my favorite color. I love pink and this is pink obviously. Um, that's the back of the shirt. This is the front. I just love cute tops like this that are like tighter on the chest and kind of flounce out a little like just how darling is that? So this was just a super beast shirt and I had to get it. Actually, I did wear this guys. I did wear something. So this is I guess kind of like a sports bra crop top from Aerie. Um, and again, I don't need sports bras. Believe me, I don't. I have millions of them. But this was my color. And look how cute the tie-dye is. I love that detail. So I was like, it's a dollar. I'm gonna wear it. And I did. <laughs> Next up, I see this coming out of the bag. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, I remember buying this. This is adorable. What brand is it? I don't even know. It is... Is that Fashion Nova tag I see in there? Let's see. Oh my gosh. It is, it's Fashion Nova, so this is actually very out of my comfort zone. I normally wouldn't wear a shirt like this, but I do sometimes try to wear things out of my comfort zone, and hello, it's pink again, and I love the bell sleeves on this. Look how adorable. So now I just have to find the confidence to uh, rock this outside the house, and I need to find somewhere to wear it too, but oh, adorable, perfect. Another cute, ruffly crop top. I actually wore this to celebrate my friend's 22nd birthday this year in Seaside. I wore it with a pair of high-waisted shorts. Actually, they weren't that high-waisted. I was hoping they were. But regardless, just such a cute going out top. Am I right? I love the lace detail, which, as I've said in other videos, was big in, like, 2016. But you know what? I still think it's a cute feature, and it's not like I wear it on all my clothes. So it's okay in my books. Let's see what brand this is. Oh, this is American Eagle. So, yeah, super, super cute shirt. And I also like the little, like, star details it has throughout it. This I actually wore again. Okay, it turns out I wore a lot of stuff from this bag, guys. I didn't mean to lie like that, but I promise the other stuff I'm going to show you, I have not worn. Um, this is just a super basic tank, and I would never get something like this, but like I said before, it was only a dollar, and it never hurts to have super basic staple things in your closet like this. So I got this. This is from Arrow Pastel. Just a great cropped tank top with a cute little lettuce hem at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I remember looking at this, but I did not remember buying this shirt. Let's try it on to see how it looks. And yeah, this is another one I'm going to have to find a good place to wear it to. But I just thought it was a super unique shirt with like the wrapped kind of tied detail in the front. Like the whole front looks like it's wrapped around itself. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. I also like how the neckline isn't even. And I don't know, this is just a really cool funky top. It's Honey Punch brand, which I have a few things from them, and yeah, I just really like this, but it is a little bit loose, so I, I, we're gonna, we'll, we'll have to figure this one out when it comes time. <laughs> oh, I love this shirt, guys. This is from Forever 21, and of course, it's pink. Also, if you haven't noticed, most of this stuff is for, like, summer, but, you know, summer's coming eventually. Um, this is such a cute little cropped tank, again, with, like, I really need to figure out what this is called, but it's, like, it's not ruching, it's 
is it crepe? Something like that. But where it's like tighter. Um, it's also very flattering to this kind of material. But anyway, there's elastic throughout the shirt, so it's very stretchy. Cute little lettuce hem. I love the fact that these straps tie like this. Like, how adorable is that? And yeah, just an adorable little crop top. Okay, so last in this bag are these jeans, which clearly I did not get for a dollar. Okay, not clearly. I get a lot of jeans for a dollar. Let me see. So I ended up getting these for $10, and I think that's because I had a $10 gift card. Okay, yeah, so these were $20, not on sale, and $20 is kind of a lot for jeans at a thrift store, but I've done it before. Um, but I, as I've said before, I've been trying to uh, get into like less of skinny jeans but not super baggy pants because they just don't look good on me but mom jeans whatever trying to be more trendy anyway i got these pair of jeans from pack sun i really liked how they fit me they were loose but not they weren't skinny jeans they weren't super loose but they were like somewhere in between love the distressing yeah i just had to have them so they're mine now okay so going on to the next bag i oh okay never mind i've worn one thing i've worn one thing from this bag and that's it Okay, so I ended up getting myself a pair of workout leggings or athleisure wear or wherever you want to call them. They're from Old Navy. Um, they're very just basic, easy to wear, and I have a lot of like sweatpants, leggings, stuff like this. Um, but I work from home, so my saying is that you can basically never have enough. So I got these because, like I said, they were only a dollar, super cute. I like that they're just gray, white, like gray. They can basically go with anything, and I can wear them throughout the year, and they're just an easy, obvious thing that I just had to have. All right. I do not remember getting this at all. Guys, I don't, I don't think that I bought this for myself. This might have fallen out from another bag, I'm not gonna lie, because there's no way I bought myself this. Oh! Do you know what? I think, I think my sister might have given this to me when I had this bag with me and I just threw it in here. That's where this is from. Okay, this was not thrifted, guys. I was like, I would not buy this for myself. My sister gave it to me. Oh, thanks, Lauren. All right. So, oh, such a cute shirt. So I'm gonna need a little bit of confidence to wear this too because it is kind of a very cropped crop top. Um, it's from Emery, Emery Park. Haven't heard of that brand, but it sounds kind of fancy. Um, oh, it's brand new with tags? I had no idea. I mean, I probably did at one point, but that's awesome. I love like, surprises like that. But just a very me top, obviously. I mean, look at the cute little ruffles. It has the elastic throughout, which I like, off the shoulder. And yeah, just a super, 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 super <laughs> cute top. Okay, so this I laughed at myself when I got because this style of shirt like 90s kind of style cardigan shirt thing was very in style like last year maybe um but i feel like this is one of the trends that kind of like went in and went out real fast but i got this shirt because i was like well i was too cheap to buy it like full price when it was in style and it's still a cute shirt it's my color a little i guess a little bit more purpley than my actual color but still i thought it was cute only a dollar sue me if it's not in style anymore you know <laughs> oh another really cute summer shirt I have so many shirts for summer. I hope I have somewhere to go next summer. This is another shirt from Forever 21. Again, elastic throughout with little ruffles at the bottom. It looks like cotton candy or like a gumball machine. I think this is so cute. And of course, the tie straps again, which again, I really love. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I found my special lip stuff. Guys, I thought this was lost in my car. This is um, lip healing, limp three in one plumping lip treatment. Uh, I don't use it to plump my lips. I really don't think it does that. I wear this at night before I go to bed because my lips get so dry. And this is actually from um, where I get facials. And uh, yeah, this stuff literally saves my lips overnight. And I just found it. So that's exciting. So uh, I'll just put that there for now. <laughs> so if I was working in the office, this is exactly the type of shirt I would wear. Again, wow, I really like pink and like ruffly things. But that's really not a style, I would say. Like, I wouldn't describe myself as, like, a girl who likes that kind of stuff, but the proof is in the bag, apparently. Um, but anyway, this is just a really cute wrap peplum top. I love wrap pieces, and I love peplum tops. I don't care. I do not care if peplum was in style 10 years ago. I will rock it forever. It's super flattering, super cute, and yeah, I just had to have this shirt. I'll wear it to a nice dinner or something with my family. <laughs> 
This is just another really cute crop top. You got the elastic at the bottom, kind of a poofy sleeve, cute little tie in the front, and you have me sold there. Okay, I don't completely remember getting these, um, but I know I didn't pay full price for them. Oh, you know what? No, I don't remember. I don't remember getting these. I really don't remember getting these. Um, but I think I paid, I think I had like credit to play this closet. So I think that's how I paid for these. Um, just a pair of mom jeans from Hollister. Curvy ultra high rise vintage straight. That's a lot of words to describe the fit of this jean. Um, I didn't realize it's curvy. Like I'm pretty sure people with butts are supposed to wear curvy pants and I don't have one, but hey, I liked it when I bought it. So I guess I still like it now. I honestly, wow, I forgot I had these. I should probably wear them. Good thing it's jean season. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was all the stuff I've accumulated for my own personal closet over the year from Plato's Closet. As I said, most of that stuff was a dollar besides the two pairs of jeans. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my haul. I know a lot of it was for summer, but stay tuned. Follow me on my socials if you want, because I will be rocking that stuff next year. Speaking of my socials, they are Sarah with many thoughts as seen here. And that's both my Instagram and TikTok. And I do occasionally write about my life on a broader scale on my blog, sarahwhitmanythoughts.com. And of course, there are plenty of other thrifting videos to check out on my channel. So feel free to check those out. They're linked below. Some of them are. Um, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hope to see you soon, guys. See you later.